My fondest memory probably dates back to elementary school. And I was such a, a bookworm when I was in school. I remember waiting with bated breath on the day that the bookmobile would come to our elementary school. And I would spend, I'm sure, every single dime that I had uh, to buy as many books as I could when the bookmobile was there. And then I recall the elementary school I attended, which was Frank Rushton. And they instituted this program called Book It. And with Book It, I believe if you read a book each week, then you got a chance to get a free pizza. And reading and eating were the two best things in my life at that time, so it just couldn't get any better. <laughs> there were tons of people who gave me reasons to believe in myself. I certainly have to start with my family. I know that um, my mom, she absolutely believed in me, I'm sure more than I ever really believed in myself. She worked, I'm sure, two jobs, maybe even three jobs at times, so as far back as I can remember. But she never missed a, a band recital or a speech I was giving or awards presentation. She was always there. She always made time for it because she definitely believed in me. Um, then, of course, there was my father and my, my grandparents. My grandmother, um, she has this box at her house with all of my accolades in it dating back to, I'm sure, when I was just like six years old and got my first perfect attendance award or something like that. And uh, another one of my grandmothers, she used to give me a reward of five dollars for every report card that I got where I earned straight A's and I had to have money for the bookmobile so I made sure that I got straight A's every marking period. <laughs> in middle school there were two teachers that I had who were very influential and they believed in my creativity, my creative skills and that was Susan Hodges and Sue Elliott. Mrs. Elliott, she was my band director and I remember begging her to allow me to sign up for two band courses at the same time so that I could learn to play as many instruments as possible. She thought that was crazy. She had never heard of a, a teenage kid who wanted to learn how to play as many instruments as possible, but it was my passion at the time. And Ms. Hodges, she would often ask me to help her with leading uh, class lessons. And I recall going to her one time after um, she and I had taken a field trip to a museum, and I said, I want to teach the class about Kwanzaa. They have to know about this. I can't be the only one with this knowledge. And she, she saw that I, I was uh, very interested in doing it and I had that creative bug and she wanted to make sure that she gave me the platform to do it. When I was in high school and it was time to begin considering which college I was going to apply to, there weren't really that many members of my family who had ever gone to college or graduated from college, so I didn't have too many people that I could look to um, for advice in my family, but the Sumner Academy uh, staff and, and the guidance counselors there, they made up for all of it. They made sure that each student at Sumner Academy knew that you are absolutely going to be going to college and we will help you get there. I've always loved to debate, but I never quite considered the practice of law. And it wasn't really until I was about to sign on the dotted line and take a job in finance, which I'm sure is not my calling. <laughs> and at that time, I went to go discuss all of those uh, career options with my then business law professor at Howard University. And he could see that finance was really not really my passion. And so he asked me, did you ever consider the practice of law? And I hadn't, but he told me I was doing great in his class and he thought that I would become a, a great attorney. So I looked into it and took the test and the rest is history. I'm an attorney with Archer and & Griner and at my firm I practice in both state and federal court in Pennsylvania and New Jersey handling commercial litigation matters. So that is generally I deal with consumer fraud, um, business torts and other contractual disputes, anything arising out of a business transaction. I can definitely see the um, influences from the Kansas City education that I received in the work that I do now. That was where I first had my, uh, my entree into some, um, some reasoning skills and some critical thinking and some honing up my analytical skills. So I definitely use that every day in the practice of law. And then of course Sumner Academy was the best, I'm sure, preparatory school that you could ever attend. And that definitely made me over prepared for college and then I just took that on to law school. I decided that I was going to take both the Pennsylvania and the New Jersey bar exams at the same time. And I passed both of them on the first try. So that was huge for me because that set up my entire, uh, my entire career at that point. A few years after I passed the bar, I was voted by my peers um, to become the New Jersey Young Lawyer of the Year. And that award was so special to me because that was the first time that my peers from all throughout the state got together and wanted to recognize me for my achievements, both in my profession and in my volunteerism. So I still hold that award in such very high regard. It's probably the most special to me. My advice to today's students would certainly be that they should dare to dream. I think that uh, you not only have to have a dream, but you need to dream big. So if you want to go somewhere and make your mark in life, then you have to think outside of the box. You have to be extraordinary. This award is extremely special to me. Number one, because it comes from my hometown. 
And to be able to be surrounded by family and friends to receive an honor as, as huge as this, that is something you can get nowhere but in Kansas City. Um, Kansas City will always hold a very special place in my heart. Um, I think the public schools there are superb. My education and training there in Kansas City, it certainly propelled me to get to where I am today. And so I'm extremely thankful for that.